Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor. I'm joined by Mayor Trevor Birch. How are you today, sir? Very good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, we've got a busy council meeting coming up. Now, the Hydro Legacy Fund, something that all of us watch very eagerly. Can you tell me what is happening with that uh, that we're looking at for the new next council meeting? Well, we have a report on the agenda that's discussing utilizing part of the investment income from the fund. So great news is at the end of September, uh, the fund has grown by over $1.1 million. And in the past, when we had Woodstock Hydro, part of the dividend would be reinvested into the city to use for infrastructure and other projects. And this report recommends using $800,000 for 2017, 400,000 for capital and 400,000 for other programs within the city. So that's a good news story. So the money that was actually gained from the sale wouldn't be touched, just the interest of it, so to speak. That's right. So the uh, principal balance will remain untouched and part of the investment income will stay in the fund so that future years will have even larger increases. And that's just used for general product, uh, projects throughout the city. That's right. Helps uh, keep everybody's taxes a little lower. Okay. And uh, we're also looking at, there's a lot of work happening at the community complex lately, and we're looking at another step right now, right? That's right. So we have a report coming up about the refrigeration unit and several options there that uh, council will be, again, looking at during the 2017 capital budget, which starts uh, mid-November. Now, it feels like there's been a lot of work at the community complex lately. I mean, we're looking at this refrigeration, uh, a new ice resurfacer as well. How much more work can we expect to see? Oh, it's an ongoing process. We've had the elevator, the Zamboni, now the refrigeration unit. The community complex, of course, has celebrated 20 years in our community, and it means that it's reaching that stage of life where we need to look at things like new roofs and fixtures and updates all throughout the building to keep it viable for the future. All right, so that's a, that's going to be a, a longer process, not just all in one shot uh, with the funding for it, right? That's right. It's small projects one at a time and make sure we do it right and get the projects finished before we start the next one. Perfect. Now we are into November now and I noticed you're very clean shaven today. Are you taking part in November? Ready for November. This is my seventh year, so people will see me uh, starting to grow the mustache and they can take a look at all of what Movember is about. It's men's health, spanning from prostate cancer through to mental health as well. So uh, very good cause. And that's only one of the great causes that's happening in the city right now. The Salvation Kettles will see out very soon as well. Will you be manning one this year? Sure will. And uh, last year we had many councillors out manning the kettles. And we also saw several different church groups and community groups take over a kettle location for a day or a series of days. So again, this year we'll be encouraging as many people to volunteer their time and participate so that uh, we have great things going on in the community for the Christmas season. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming in again. This has been another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor. I'm Shelby Knox. Thank you for joining me, Mayor Birch, and we will see you next time.